Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Paint Bucket tool fills adjacent pixels that are similar in color value to the pixels that you select with either the selected foreground color or with a pattern. To use this tool, click the Paint Bucket tool in the toolbox. It shares a spot on the toolbox with the Gradient tool, which we'll be looking at shortly. Give it a click to select it. Then look up in the Options bar. First, use the Fill drop-down to select either the foreground color or the pattern choice. If you select Pattern, then you use the Pattern drop-down to the right of that to select which pattern you'll be using for the fill. In this case, we're just going to use the foreground color. Next, select which blending mode you want to use for the fill. And I think we'll probably go ahead and just leave that at linear light. Next, you can set an opacity using either the slider or by entering a value in the text box. I think we'll change that to 75. Then in the tolerance text box here, enter a value from 0 to 255. Entering a lower number will only fill colors in the image that are very similar in color to the pixels that you select in the image. A higher number will select a broader range of similarly colored pixels in the image. So again, these are just settings that you kind of have to play with until you get your desired effect. We'll change that to 75. To define the fill that you make as having smoother curves versus jagged ones, check the anti-alias checkbox to the right of that. You can also select the contiguous checkbox, located right here, to select only pixels within the tolerance range specified that are adjacent to the pixels that you click to select. And we are actually going to go ahead and leave that unchecked because we want to change all of the pixels that are similar in color in our image, meaning all of the orange in the flowers here. If the All Layers checkbox is selected, then the fill will affect the color selected in all of the layers. If unchecked, it will fill selected pixels in the selected layer only. To then apply the fill, you just move your cursor over the pixels of the color that you want to fill with the selected foreground color or pattern, and then just click to apply it. And again, you can go back in and you can change your blending mode, change your opacity, change your tolerance, and play around until you get your desired effect. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.